I, I, we were just talking about how to process all of this, where you are right now. Please tell us what, what it's like where you are. I mean, Melanie, it's surreal. I think that the trauma is still sinking in with people. It's, it's hard to tell, but to my left and right, there are a whole multitude of homes. And we've heard, you know, part of the joy of living here is hearing people, you know, teachers and students uh, coming out for recess. Uh, the right of spring and summer, of going through the spring semester and summer vacation, uh, which was quickly upon everybody. So to answer your question, I think that everybody is so stunned. I mean, the weapons of war that were used in this senseless massacre uh, eviscerated these bodies. And, you know, Americans see these tragedies on television all the time, but, you know, nearly a decade after Sandy Hook, there was the sense that, okay, perhaps this would be filed in the recesses of, you know, everybody's consciousness, that these shootings would still happen, but not to the scale of what we saw. And yet, here we are again. So I think that people here are, are struggling with what happened. Uh, the Texas governor, Greg Abbott, will be here serving a role um, that the president of the United States often serves as comforter in chief. He'll be here to comfort the uh, victims' families and offer an update on perhaps what drove the suspect to such depraved acts. But it is, you know, the trauma that is slowly emanating from the building behind us. Our colleagues were able to hear the screams of parents a couple kilometers away from where we're standing when they had their worst fears realized that their children's lives were extinguished, vanquished, uh, right at, after such a beautiful ceremony of honoring perfect attendance, honoring people who are on the honor roll at 10 years old, uh, fourth grade here in the United States going into fifth grade. So it is slowly sinking in, but it's going to be tough. It is going to be so tough for people who are living here, Melanie. Mike, I can't even imagine that, hearing about the parents' cries, as you mentioned, learning of this news. Uh, you, you, you talked about what's going to happen today. Was yeah. there any reaction from there? You know, you heard U.S. President Joe Biden, I know we have about 30 seconds left with you, about now action, action on gun reform. Has anyone talked about that on the ground? I think there's extreme skepticism. We offer our comfort to everybody we see in our surroundings. Um, and when we speak with them, choosing our words diplomatically here, they don't expect much action because we're at the beginning of an election here with American elections in November, and there just seems to be the belief that nearly a decade ago with Sandy Hook, with 20 young students killed, if nothing could happen then, with politics so polarized here in America now, nothing will happen at this juncture, Melanie. CNN's Mike Valerio joining us live from Uvalde, Texas. Thank you for your time. And uh, we will continue to follow this story, of course, in the hours and days to come and much more. I promise you that.